demonstration, we're going to put AVG Internet Security 9.0 through the 70 Threat Challenge. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is update AVG's definitions to the latest version. Okay, as you can see, AVG is fully updated. Uh, we've installed it with out of the box default settings. We've not modified any of the settings, so the program is uh, set up just as a normal user may install it. Let's go ahead and minimize it down here. We've got the latest updates. Let's open up Process Explorer. Shows us everything running on this machine. We know it's a nice, clean Windows XP uh, Service Pack 3 machine as uh, we've tested all of the other products in the same exact machine. Uh, it's clean, so let's go ahead and get started. The 70 Threat Challenge allows us to create basically a worst case scenario. We've got a folder here filled with uh, 70 malicious uh, executables ranging from rogue antivirus software to malware, key loggers, uh, viruses, you name it. So let's go ahead and get started. And we're, the goal of the test is either to uh, melt down the machine uh, if AVG is unable to protect it, or we should end up with a clean folder uh, where AVG has deleted each uh, executable. And certainly we should see very minimal process explorer activity. We don't want to see any of these uh, threats executing as we run them. So ABC, AVG should be able to stop those. Let's go ahead and run through them. And as always, we just go one by one through each threat. We try to click on every single one of them and see what the effects are to our operating system. And we will always, uh, if we get uh, prompts from any of the products, we'll go ahead and hit block and let the products do their job. Uh, going down through the folder, you can see there's some Process Explorer activity. Uh, AVG is blocking. It looks like, I'll leave this up, I'm clicking on them really quickly. Uh, you can see AVG is blocking the network communication uh, from some of these threats. Uh, I would really like to see it actually block the threat itself rather than just denying the network traffic. Um, if you go right to the source of the executable and deny execution of the executable, you don't really have to worry about the network traffic. We'll go ahead and keep on going. I hear my mouse clicking in the background, just going right on down through them. Block. More network activity, suspicious network activity. Let me start from the bottom here and come up. I'll make this a little wider. And you can see there's a good amount of Process Explorer activity, and our CPU utilization is just maxed out. Some of it's AVG trying to fight off uh, everything that's going on. There's AVG creating some firewall rules uh, in an attempt to stop some of the traffic that's coming out of uh, these threats, which probably looks quite malicious or suspicious to AVG. So that's a good thing that it's popping up and doing that. Uh, however, the bad thing is we have a lot more Process Explorer activity than we should have. You can see some of these rogue uh, products are actually installing and running through their fake scanning procedures and then of course ask for your money uh, telling you that they found malicious things on your computer uh, when in fact a lot of times there aren't any malicious things there. So we've got a lot of Process Explorer activity. I'm trying to stick with my list here but we're getting a lot of pop-ups. Uh, move to Vault. Go ahead and move that out. See if we can continue here. That error message is actually a good sign. That's just saying that AVG is not allowing uh, the execution. However, we have an awful lot of Process Explorer activity. I would say at this point the machine is pretty heavily infected uh, with a lot of these processes that have been allowed to run and are continuing uh, running actually more network activity, more communication that AVG is seeing from the threats. Again, uh, we'd obviously much rather see AVG block the threats themselves rather than the activity that the threats are generating. Uh, it's good that it's blocking it, but it would be better if it would just block the threats themselves and go right to the root cause of the problem there. I believe we're pretty much at the end of the list. Let's do a quick check here. We've got 70 objects left, and that's it for AVG.